everybody, it's me, Luna TK, and today I am back with another Miraculous Reaction. Today I am reacting to Rock Eater. Rock Eater. Um, predictions, predictions. I'm going to guess that it has something to do with rocks. <laughs> so I don't know why I want to hear Rock Eater for some reason. Okay, this is a completely, like, this is when my, my brain first goes to. So my dad, like, does spelunking or caving, and, like, he, like, literally goes and explores caves. That's, that's literally what he does. He digs and explores and caves. And, like, his group of friends that does that, they call themselves the Rock Eaters. So let me just say that that's where my mind goes to first. So it goes to, like, caves um, when I hear this name and I think about my dad. So, yeah. Um, so that's my first friend. Second place my head goes to is with Ivan. Because I think about the episode, um, Stoneheart, the Origins episodes, where he got akumatized and he turned into that big stone guy, right? So, he hasn't been re in a while. So, I'm going to guess that maybe it has to do with him. Maybe there's a Senta monster that has to do with him. Yeah. I don't know what, or maybe, maybe he's going to get akumatized, or maybe he's one of the only ones that doesn't have Miraculous yet. So, maybe... Maybe he'll get a Miraculous. I don't know. If he gets Miraculous, I think he's going to get a Dog Miraculous. I don't know. Something's just telling me that Ivan is meant for the Dog Miraculous. But I guess it's really only one way to find out, and that is to watch it. So without further ado, I have my Berry Berry Hibiscus Tea and my popcorn. So we're going to go ahead and without further ado, let's get to it. Who's a good little T-Rex? You are! Gucci, 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 Gucci! Wow, it's just... Alia, everyone has to believe that you can never use a Miraculous again. That way you can be our spy without anyone suspecting. Don't say it! Anything but that! Anything but what? You don't love me anymore. Oh, what? It's getting really hard to find new material for the lady blog. Yeah. I guess I still have that raw footage of Cat Noir stunts, depending on how well I edit it. The arrival of Rena Rouge! What about Carapace? Have you <laughs> forgotten about Carapace? Cat Noir, forget about Ladybug. You and I, we're made. <laughs> what? Rena Rouge in love with Cat Noir? I, for one, am not entertained. <laughs> She's right. Mademoiselle. <laughs> Should I take you home, or...? Oh boy. Just rubbed off on you. <laughs> Think I played the charming kitty cat one too many times and unintentionally made her fall in love with me? I have to be sure. Clag, claws out! Oh boy. <laughs> this one just ripped my heart out. Like a tragic sax solo in a love song. There I was, with my old buddies again. The city. <laughs> what is happening? It was time to end all the lies and secrets. I'd always wanted to have a mustache anyway. <laughs> We're starting to know each other pretty well, and it's made me notice a couple of small things. I hope I'm just under the illusion that there's something but a... Illusion? What illusion? What small things? It's kind of hard to explain, but I wanted to make sure that in all this time you've spent admiring me, you haven't built up some kind of a... feelings for me. I mean, I get it. Hey, I am the cat's meow. <laughs> what feelings for you? Well, you know... Are you insane? I already have a boyfriend, and FYI, with him, it's not just... It's more like... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was so silly of me. Sorry, Ken. I have an angry child. I'll wait for him to... Don't mind my mom button, by the way. 
are, but my Nino is a thousand times more irresistible than you. Aww. Uh oh. Oh. Sit down. <laughs> this is getting like. Uh, when do you set all this up? <laughs> You're wrong. That's not at all what happened. How do you know? You were there. <laughs> No, no, of course not, but it's impossible. Who always wants to know the truth no matter what? Who wants to share everything with the boy she loves? <laughs> they actually know each other much better than you think. Alia's a superhero. She's Rena Rouge. <gasps> I know what you're about to say. That's nonsense. Wait. And how would Nino know that anyway? I, know I thought that was already... I'm a superhero too. I'm Carapace. Huh? You're... Carapace? But the two of you know? You know I can't remember. Wait, 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 wait. Is he at both of my kids are not happy right now. I thought it was kind of no knowledge that they are the that they are the miraculous holders. Does Adrian not know? Like, because Hawkmoth and Natalie know. I thought it was, like, normal knowledge now that they are the Miraculous Holders. I'm confused. I'm gonna... But he looks genuinely surprised. know each other's secret identities? Of course. Holly and I have never kept anything from each other. Oh my gosh! We are, like... Over halfway through the episode, and nobody's been akumatized yet. Andrew sounds like he's having a hard time downstairs, but he'll be fine. Now, I'm all alone. Aww. The love of my life. <laughs> the love of his life. Aww. Aww. His sweet talking mouth shut with his own whiskers. Aww. Oh. Fly, my oh, he hasn't gotten. Oh boy. Oh boy. There's got to be an explanation, Nino. We'll work it all out. <laughs> rocketeer. I am A rocketeer. I thought it was Rock Eater. You in a weeping state of sorrow. <laughs> I'm giving your tears the power to destroy I'm so dumb. I said ro That's really funny. It's Rocketeer, not Rock Eater. I'm dumb. Okay. Oh boy. Nino, you have to fight off this thing. You're not my enemy, Adrian. Cat Noir is. Oh boy. <laughs> You're not my enemy, on. <laughs> but you are, cause. You to do, but I would advise you not to, considering what your pals got in store for Cat Noir. I can't leave Nino like that. Plague, claws out. He said that really weird. I you not to, considering what your pals got in store for Cat Noir. I can't leave Nino like that. Flag, claws out. That was weird. His voice was weird. He said it like it just didn't seem. It didn't fit. You stole my from me. I'm going to steal your life from you. Oh boy. <laughs> Tiki, Spot on. I love seeing them transform together. Do like Nino and make up imaginary movies in your head? <laughs> Do you think you can make a sound illusion? Totally. Wow. You want it proof? Here's proof. That doesn't prove a thing. I don't want to hurt you. Can we talk now? Shut him up for good. Stop. Rock is here. I just understood it. Advanced projector that will allow you to hear the sound of the video that you shot. Yeah. Sorry, Cat Noir, but my Nino is a thousand times more irresistible than you. <laughs> Besides, I don't know your real identity, and I could never fall for someone I didn't really know. Aww. I can't believe I ever doubted you. I can't believe I ever chose to do anything over spending time with you. I'm so sorry. Aww. 
I was so scared for you. Shadowmoth, you can have your lame powers back. Woo! Let's go! He fought it back! Let's go! We finally got another one that's, uh... That's able to do that, too. Love and secrets don't mix, Ladybug. And I'm sure you have many secrets, too. Oh, boy. I'll never let Shadow Moth use my love to manipulate me again. Aww. I guess I was wrong about you, my dude. I'm sorry. Everyone has doubts now and then. Even me. Hmm. See, he's really starting to lose his. Entrusted all you and with those miraculous. So why does she make it a rule that we can't know each other's identities, but it's okay for them? She's the guardian, the grandmaster cheese ripener, and you and I are just cheese on the platter. She decides what's on the menu. Don't worry, I've got this. Do you oh trust me? I trust you. There's something I have to tell you. Again? Are you sure you don't want to just play Super Penguino instead? I'm still Rena Rouge. But now I'm in hiding, and that's why Ladybug asked me not to tell anyone. But why are you I telling me if no one's supposed to know? Is Ladybug cool with this? I can't hide it from you because I love you, Nino, and we share everything. Oh boy! Wow! Holy smokes! This is getting. This is. This is getting, like, serious here. Like, holy smokes. She just went behind Ladybug. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. This is gonna, this is, this is a problem. This is a problem. Like, I love the fact that she's so loyal to her her boyfriend. I love the fact that she's so loyal to him. Their relationship is so good. Like, I love that. But this is going to be a problem. I just, I just see this going down a problematic path and I'm really nervous about it. Right? Oh. This is... Oh boy. This is a problem. I... I both respect the fact that she did that, but also hate the fact that she just did that. It's like... She's being like good to her significant other, but at the same time... She's kind of betraying Marinette. But at the same time, she just kind of says, like, you know, do you trust me? Like, she kind of is basically saying, hold on, let me rewatch that part. Another thing that's problematic is that this is continuing to build on Cat Noir's faith in Ladybug. Because, again, he's already being sidelined for Rhea Rouge. Which, I don't think he knows that Rhea Rouge is now having to be hidden. I don't think he knows that. Yeah, I don't think he knows that. So, like, yeah. So, like, yeah, he doesn't know that. Re so, he knows already. He, so, he's been, we're, like, really building up to something. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Um, because we're clearly building up to something here. Because Cat Noir, and I wonder if this is all going to happen at the same So Something's going to happen, and I'm not going to like the way this is going to turn out. I can just see it now. I can just see it now. Very quickly, I can see where things are starting to unravel here with all you knowing Marinette's secret. And the problem is, is that, like, what if she ends up telling Nino about the fact that she, like, she, I mean, I'm glad she hasn't said anything about her knowing that Marinette is Ladybug. Like, she said she can't keep everything, she can't keep things from him, but she's keeping that from him. And I'm glad she is, but like, what's next? <laughs> I mean, 
mean, he didn't need to know this. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this. I like scratched my face. <laughs> because I bet you it's it's not going to be long before. The thing is, is I feel like all these things are unraveling. But I just wonder, with the way things are going, it's because okay, okay. Let me let me kind of back up a little bit. So I didn't get a chance to finish my thoughts because I'm just everywhere right now. My brain is just going off. Um, so. Anya telling me, you know, I don't feel like, I don't know, I don't, I, I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about it. And Cat Noir, so we have the whole, we have two weird things that are starting to build up here, right? So, Anya knowing is, is falling, is making some issues between, is, is bringing tension now between Ladybug and Cat Noir. Because she has honestly been taking on a bigger role so far. And also because now he knows that. Alia and Nino know each other's identities, so now that's added on to it, so now he's going to be upset about that, which I completely understand his logic. I understand his reasoning for that. He has every right to be upset for that, but at the same time, like, I don't know. I don't know. I love, like, it's just funny because she was just able to know. Like, I just remember, like, when she, when he became Caraface, like, she just, she already knew. Like, she knew right from the get-go because, like, the way he said things, like, they have such a special bond. Like, they love each other so much that she's able to, like, just know. Like, they're gonna get married one day. Like, these are, like, they're, they're done. They're, like, they're folding. These two are folding. Um, but, like, she, she, she's known from the get-go that he is Carapace. And took him longer to catch on. But... Yeah, so I don't know. I completely understand where Cat Noir is coming from. I understand where he's coming from. Um, and and yeah, so this is this is this is just gonna add. Uh, this is just gonna build upon the fact that we already have tension with Cat Noir right now, and now he's like, well, what the heck? Like, Alia and Nino get to know each other's identities. Why can't I know Ladybugs? Why can't Ladybugs know mine? And it just makes me wonder, like, man, like. Are, are we getting close to a reveal? Like, it seems like we're really building on this now, and it seems like... Will this... Is it possible that the season finale could have a reveal? Like, the last episode, it hasn't aired yet. Um, and if this, if it's aired by the time I release this, this video, please do not tell me, but... It's gonna happen, either this season finale or sometime next season. I have... The, the thing that stinks is, like, I feel like it's... The big reveal isn't going to happen until either a season finale or, like, if we're lucky, a se like, the beginning of a season. Like, I can't imagine it being anywhere in the middle of a season. I can't imagine them doing that. So either it's at the end of this season or it's at the end of season five. I... Or at the very beginning. There's, there's three options here. It can happen at the end of, of the season beginning of next season or the end of next season it's coming guys it's coming i just know it it's go it's coming because we're it's 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 inevitable at this point it's inevitable and i mean now that she has now that she's able to make the lucky charms and stuff like the magical charm she can make it so that I mean, the problem is, is if he turns into cat block again it's, it's gonna freaking happen he's going to get akumatized again it's gonna be a problem but once he does, once he becomes Cat Block and she can make him ma a magical charm, then that's it. At that point, then, like, I feel like all bets are off. Like, they can know each other's secret identities at that point. Because he can't get akumatized. So he can't take her, her miraculous from her. He wouldn't ever turn on her. Unless he was forced to. But I really... The only person that's never been akumatized is Marinette, and I don't know if she can make herself a magical charm. What's the... What is the... title of the... Let me look. 
I'm gonna look to see what the title of the uh, season finale is. One of them. Okay, so there's Risk, and then there's Strike Back. Shadow Moth's Final Attack. They're both called Shadow Moth's Final Attack, Part 1 and Part 2. So we could be reaching the end of Shadow Moth, and there's already been hints about there being a future Shadow Moth or, or Hawk Moth, like there, there being a, a, a different one. So somebody else could be taking on the role of Shadow Moth, which I wonder, there's a couple options here. I think either Natalie or Lila. I think those are the two options for who could be the next Shadow Moth, Hawk Moth, whichever. Um, obviously, they'll probably have their own name when that happens. But they're the Shadow Moth equivalent, right? <laughs> Unless something crazy happens and like, which I can't imagine this happening. But like, if Adrian's mom comes back, right? The next episode is Wishmaker. Like, that's gotta be it. Like, I have so many, like, so many questions. Because Wishmaker, no, they wouldn't do that in the middle of the season. Because, well, the thing is, it's like, if you get them, right, so the idea is he wants them miraculously so he can bring his wife back. Supposedly, that's what, or at least that's what we're thinking, right? I don't know if it's ever confirmed. I assume that that's what he wants it for, because you can make a wish. So you can make a wish once you get those two miraculouses together. So, it makes me wonder, like, he's not going to get a hold of them next episode, is he? Wishmaker? I mean, because if that's the case... Because, I don't know, okay, so like, because... Okay, there's three options. There's three options. These are my theories, okay? So, the next Shadow Moth could either be Natalie, which if it's Natalie, we're doomed, because she's wicked smart, Lila, or... Adrian's mom? Like, if she comes back? What if she comes back next episode? What if she comes back in Wishmaker? Is she? We don't know. We don't know. I've always assumed that she's been kind of a good guy, but based upon some of the information and some of the stuff that's been thrown at us in the past, it seems like she was the last Peacock Miraculous holder. It got broken. Or it was broken. She used it. That's what sent her into the coma. Now that's why he wants to get the other two Miraculous. So they were messing around with Miraculouses. They were mac he was already messing around with the prodigious. Like he was trying to get a hold of the prodigious forever ago. So like this is something that has been building up. Like he him and apparently his wife, she had to have been in on it. So what is the bigger goal here with Hawkma? What is the bigger no, the bigger the question is, what is the goal of Gabriel and, and um Emily Grass? Like what is their goal? What is it that they're trying to do? And what is the next person's goal going to be? The person who becomes the next Shadow Moth or Hawk Moth or whichever. What's the goal? Shadow Moth's final attack. So it either means that we're, I, I, I don't know, my theories for the finale are that we're either, we're going to beat Shadow Moth, right? Or we're going to be this close, right? This close to beating him. We're going to be left off on a cliffhanger for the next season. And apparently the next season doesn't come out until, like, I don't even know. But we're going to be waiting some good uh, good months before, like, it's going to be months before the next season. I mean, I'm, I'm, probably, I'm going to be caught up. I'm going to be caught up to all the episodes before season five comes in. So, yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait to be caught up. Anyway, I've gone on a complete side tangent here. But it just, this, this this episode got me really thinking about all of this. Like, where are we heading with all of this? We're heading somewhere fast, and I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know how I feel about any of it. I think that's all I have for now. I guess I won't know. I, I, I cannot wait to watch more of this. I want to watch more. <laughs> Until next time, my name is Luna TK, and I hope you guys have an awesome day. Bye!
Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's plenty of ways to show it. You can give me a like, a comment, subscribe, or ring the bell for notifications. You can also follow me at LunaT93 for updates, and you can check out previous content right there. Until next time, bye! Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, there's plenty of ways to show it. You can give me a like, a comment, subscribe, or ring the bell for notifications. You can also follow me at LunaT93 for updates, and you can check out previous content right there. Until next time.